हाई माई डियर फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल दिस इज शिवानी हियर वेलकम टू माई चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशंस टूडे आई एम शोइंग यू हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस सुपर डुपर ब्यूटिफुल एंड सुपर डुपर ईजी पेपर बास्केट विद द हैंड मेड क्विलिंग फ्लावर्स इट्स लुकिंग वेरी अट्रैक्टिव आई हैव एडेड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स टू डेकोरेट इट अकॉर्डिंग टू द कमिंग फेस्टिवल on the diwali theme so let's get started first i'm taking this red color thick sheet which measures 12 by 12 inches this is having 250 gsm thickness now from left side i am scoring it on 4 inches and 8 inches then rotate your sheet and again crease on 4 inches and 8 inches then i'm just cutting it till the center part like this from both the sides and after that fold all the creases and burnish it very well using bone folder like this then take your folded part like this and we are going to construct our basket so here i am taking my red tacky tape just fold the center part and on the top connect one strip of red tacky tape burnish it then on other two flaps i am going to add tacky tape here on left and right sides then just remove the liner and see how i am constructing my basket it's very easy just eyeball it in the center and stick it now burnish it very well using bone folder and similarly i am repeating it on other side and the super cute very easy basket is ready yes your base is ready Now I'm just tracing the basket shape on orange color sheet which is also having 250 gsm thickness. So here I'm making the liner for my basket from inside. And then I am just leaving say about 2 mm gap while cutting the shape. So you have to leave little gap so that you can see maroon border all around this shape when you will paste it so this is done and it will look like this In the same way we will cut one more for other side. Now my two panels are ready. So before connecting this we have to make the handle. So here I am taking this 12 by 1 inch maroon cardstock strip and I am taking one more strip which is 4 inch by 1 inch and 
to extend my handle I am adding this small strip so just add little glue and connect like this then to decorate it I am taking this beautiful border design and sticking it on my handle So handle is ready. Then take back your basket and I'm going to connect the handle from inside. So I'm just removing my uh, border little bit so that it will be easier for us to stick with the base from both the sides. So just add little glue on this part and connect with the basket. stick it very well and then I am going to stick my liners And this is done it is quite sturdy now then here I have created this beautiful design using some intricate dies this die is by die cuts and more and the center color die is from dress my craft so I'm just adding little glue on backside and connecting this design on the outer square shape In the same way I have added the design on other side then I'm taking one more orange color cut out of the same die and the colors die so I'm showing you how I have constructed it just adding one circle first and then on top of this I'm adding this colors die if you don't have dies don't worry nowadays lots of mdf cutouts and laser cutouts are available in the market you can also use those to decorate your basket or you can just take a printout and stick it with the base so i just stuck it inside and now i'm taking one more square die of the same set and for the base i have used golden and for top i have used white cardstock and also i'm adding these two designs on both the sides which is made using golden cardstock then add glue and connect with your front side of the basket like this then I am taking this beautiful border design and I am adding it in the bottom Just cut the excess and then in the center I am adding this beautiful dia cutout which is a die by dress my craft 
and on other side I am adding Shubh Deepavali sentiment. For the intricate dies, I always use glue on my palm so that it stuck with all the small small parts with your intricate dies and it looks nice and finished. Now I am starting with the quilling flower decoration. So for my first flower I am taking one and half strip of yellow color and I am making one tight leaf shape. Here I am using 3mm strip and my one strip length is 45 centimeters. Now to give little shading in the bottom I am using this red archival ink. This is a carnation red and using my applicator tool I am adding little ink in the bottom. You can also use watercolors to give the shaded effect. So we need total 5 petals. Now I am joining all 5 petals together to construct the flower. Then for the center of the flower I am taking one strip of red color and making one tight coil and adding on top of the flower. So we need total two these type of flowers. I have also prepared four small flowers with the same procedure and for one petal I have used one strip of yellow color. And for the center I have used half strip of red color. And I have created these four tiny white color flowers. For this I have used half strip of white color to create the petal. And for the center I have used one fourth strip of yellow color to create the center tight coil. So process is same just the size is different. So flowers are ready. Now taking back my basket and I will start arranging my flowers. So before adding the flowers, I am adding this beautiful intricate filigree die cut out in the bottom. You can also use quilling scrolls instead of this filigree design. This filigree die is from Heartfelt Creations. like this so the beautiful handmade basket with the quilling flower decoration for upcoming Diwali festival is ready it's looking super gorgeous and very vibrant you can put chocolates you can put sweets cards boxes gifts lots of thing you can put inside this basket so that's it and my project is done for today hope you enjoyed my video please subscribe my channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching see you next time bye bye